former Prime Minister Sigmundor David Gunlausen has made a comeback with his new centre party. Incumbent Prime Minister Bjarni Benediktsson, leader of the Independence Party in the background. Iceland Monitor Igert Johannesson updated final vote count general elections in Iceland bring a complicated political landscape now that all constituencies have reported their first vote count results in Iceland's parliamentary elections it is clear that the parties that made up the right of centre coalition government have lost majority in Iceland's parliament. This comes as a no surprise as all opinion polls published prior to the elections pointed to these results. More live updates of the vote count as more results are reported. Government coalition parties lose majority The incumbent coalition government had the slimmest possible majority, or just 32 seats in Iceland's 63-seat parliament. According to the initial results, the Prime Minister's Independence Party so far seems to be losing four of its 21 seats, but retains its position as Iceland's largest political party with 26.8% of the votes counted. The other two coalition partners are losing seats. The Restoration Party has currently received 6.7% of the votes, compared to 10.5% last year. The third coalition partner, Bright Future is set to lose all its parliamentary seats and receives only 1% of the votes. Left Green Movement and Social Democrats gaining the Social Democratic Alliance seems to be making a strong comeback with 12.2% of the votes, a significant increase from last year's elections where it received only 5.7%. The left Greens are also gaining with 16.2% of the votes so far, compared to 15.9% in last year's elections and is still the second largest party in parliament. The Progressive Party loses seats The 101-year-old Progressive Party is losing seats with 10.4% support, but not nearly as much as the latest polls predicted. In light of a recent rift in the Progressive Party, with many party members joining the newly formed Centre Party, among them two former government ministers, the Progressives are seeing a relatively strong turnout according to these first results. The newcomers the Centre Party and the People's Party The Centre Party, a new political party founded by former Prime Minister and Progressive Party leader just weeks before the elections, is coming in with 11% of the votes counted. According to these initial results, the Centre Party is on track on becoming Iceland's fourth-largest political party. The People's Party is set to enter Parliament with 6.8% of the votes counted. This is a far better outcome than most polls leading up to the elections predicted. Pirates loses half of its parliamentary seats The Pirate Party that rattled the political landscape last year by winning 14.5% of the votes seems to have lost a third of its support according to these first vote count results that show the Pirates winning 8.7% of the votes. Other parties have received less than the 5% of votes needed to win seats in Iceland's parliament. These are just the initial vote count results. View Iceland Monitor's election page for live vote count as more results are reported.